Hey everybody, I get a lot of questions about fasting. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about fasting. And I'll, I'll tell you, one of the key books that I read was called Eat, Stop, Eat. Uh, very good book, you can look it up. Uh, it's not written by a doctor, but this guy went through and did all of the research. And it's all very well cited and referenced in the back of his book. So if you're a science nerd like me, you spot check people and you go look for those studies and you go look for those things uh, to validate those and to see what they uh, got out of those studies because everybody gets a little something different when they read through a scientific study if they know how to do that. So um, when I read this book and he kind of laid out fasting, I'd been seeing a lot of stuff online and blogs and blogs and all of those things. Uh, and the guru is telling us how to fast. Now, I'm not going to talk so much about diabetes because that's a totally different pathway. But what to, I do want to talk about is just generic intermittent fasting. And when we're talking about intermittent fasting, we're talking about anywhere from a 14 to 16 hour window to a 24 hour window. So with that being said, there's a lot of benefits that are different when you start doing 48, 36, 72 hour fast. Those are extreme and those are for special occasions and probably should be done maybe once a year. Um, but on the regular, we want to keep that fasting window kind of down to 24 hours. The max benefits you're going to get from fasting are going to happen at that 24 hour mark. 23 to 24 and your benefits of fasting start at around 16 hours there's a little bit before that but the bulk of your uh, goodness out of a fast is going to come between that eight so I'm sorry 16 and 24 hour window that gives us basically eight hours a day uh, to eat if we're doing that often. So I wanted to kind of give some parameters. When patients ask me that question, this is what I tell them. I say, look, on a daily basis, if we eat dinner and then we don't eat again for 16 hours, which means we basically skip breakfast and we go straight into lunch at, at 11.30 noon or one, somewhere in there, depending on what your eating schedule looks like we're getting really good benefit on a daily basis. This is a type of fasting that you can do every single day where we're just skipping that one meal. The body doesn't need a lot of time to recover from that. Now, if you're new to fasting, it does take a little bit of time. You may be able to do that two, three, four times a week and then build up to that daily. And then once you kind of build up to that, now you're ready to take that next step and say, I'm ready to go 24 hours and we're gonna eat dinner and then skip until dinner the next day or eat lunch and skip till lunch the next day or breakfast and breakfast. You get the idea. It allows us to go 24 hours, but still get a meal in every day because for a lot of us, it's daunting to skip an entire day of eating. But if we have that one meal to look forward to and we haven't eaten since dinner the night before, we're still going to get the physiological benefits of fasting and not really just put ourselves through that intense, you know, fasting aches and pains that, that a lot of people go through. Uh, as you get better at it, it becomes simpler. Now I'll tell you one thing also, you need time to recover from a 24 hour fast. You can't just do that every day and eat once a day. Uh, your body won't like that. <clears throat> so you have to give it about 48 hours. And so let me give you an example. If I eat Monday night at dinner and then I don't eat again till Tuesday night, that's a 24 hour fast. And then I have 48 hours, that's two full days before I can fast again for 24 hours. So in a given week, you can fast about twice in the 24 hour mark. You can fast every day in that 16 to 18 hour intermittent fasting. So if we have our 24 hour fast and then we eat dinner on Tuesday night, and then we get Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Thursday. So Thursday dinner can be my last meal until Friday dinner. And that'll give me that 24 hour period again to go and fast. 
And so I'm not going to talk about all the benefits of fasting. There's a million things that you can read and look at out there. What I wanted to do was just kind of give you some guidelines and how to do it, some practical put into practice information so that you can go out and you can start to experiment with this. Because at the end of the day, no matter what kind of research you read, it's going to talk about putting this in your body and eating this and counting your macros and doing all these things. But at the end of the day, it's still calories in, calories out. And I will stand by that as controversial as it may be. I've read all the research. I've been through all the programs over the last 15 years of my life and journey as a chiropractor and as a doctor experimenting, looking, and reading. It still comes down to calories in and calories out. So if we're cutting out a meal a day or we're cutting out two meals in a week, we're starting to cut back on our total calorie intake in a given week. That alone is enough to help you lose or maintain your current weight. Along with the fasting and the physiological changes that happen internally, it just maximizes that metabolism. It speeds up the metabolism because our bodies are not meant to continually consume. And that's what we've been told. Eat six times a day, eat every two hours. As soon as you wake up, start consuming. Consume, consume, consume. And then if you're a drinker, you know, you eat, you eat lunch, and then you start drinking, you know, next thing you know, you've had something in your mouth for 15 straight hours that you've been awake. Your body needs time to adapt. It needs time to relax. It needs time to settle, digest, assimilate, and keep that process moving smoothly. And so we need those little breaks. So I'm a big proponent of fasting just so we can give our body a break. Chiropractic care is very similar. When we start to get momentum and neurological change, and we start to see those changes, that's momentum. Now you need less chiropractic to help push that body forward into good health. And so you start to cut back and let the body do more work. If the body's busy eating all the time, it's not doing all the rest of the processes. So give it a break, give it a fast, follow those parameters, and see what kind of results you get.